Hi, I'm Scott Nemec and I'm an application engineer for Rodi and Schwartz. Today I'd like to talk about automotive radar sensor testing. So today we're going to have a setup that's going to talk about the hardware and the loop testing, which is merely testing the system of, a hardware, of the hardware of the sensor. So we're going to talk about doing sensor, generating targets for that sensor, and verify it can track those sensors. That's starting off today. The main instrument to set, to set up on the testing is the A-Rig 800A. The A-Rig 800A can actually generate the sensor targets. It can generate the distances. It can generate the, the Doppler. It can generate the different sizes. Uh, going with that, we actually have a front end, which is the QAT100. This has a specialized front end, so that way we actually have an array of antennas that we can actually move the sensor across the front end digitally by programming it. We don't have to physically move anything else, and we can actually test it from left to right without actually having to move anything or cause any extra errors in our tense testing. So now that I've actually talked about the back end that's going to generate the target, the front end is actually going to move it back and forth for us, let's actually look onto the sensor itself that we're going to test. So today I'm going to test a, a sensor. I took an a EVM test sensor and I'm actually going to test it to see if certain settings are going to work correctly for the sensor today. So I just put base settings in there and let's see what it can do today. So I set it in my setup, but right away one of the first issues that we have is that there's always a lot of reflections. So I have this absorber tube to put on there to remove all those reflections. You can see on the screen there's a whole bunch of reflections on the sensor detection right now. If I put this down, you can see that I've removed all the extra reflections that came in with the setup. So now I'm starting with a great clean setup so that way I have an accurate measurement. So now let's look at that measurement. So right now I'm tracking one target in the very center of the, of the grid. Let's take that one target and let's move it to the left hand or the right hand side and see if it can track it correctly. So let's look at the target that we have. It's sitting in the center right now. So I'm actually going to set the center target to the center, see if it actually picks it up. So it is picking up. I can see right now I have alignment in my setup. So I'm going to adjust my setup a little bit so it's actually back in the center again. So now we actually have the target in the center. So I'm digitally moving it across the front of this QAT to the right hand side and we're going to see how well it tracks it. We can see it jumps out. It loses a little bit of the distance tracking. It's actually getting, getting a little bit sensitive on if it's actually a real target or not. If I go far enough, let's see if it tracks it. It is tracking it. So it is holding on okay. It's not the best, so maybe I want to tweak it a little bit more. But now let's go to the left hand side. So let's go back to the center. We can see that it actually had a, ref a double reflection, which means that it's not tracking it correctly. Let's go to the center. So now we're back towards the center, and now let's actually go to the other side. So all of a sudden I can see as I'm trying to move the, the target to the left-hand side, it has dropped out of the sensor. So let's go a little bit farther. So now I'm going to, I should be coming over to about 10. Let's see if it actually comes back in. Nope, it still doesn't come back in. So I can see right now I have an issue with the settings I'm using on the sensor that the way it's set up right now, I cannot see stuff to the left-hand side. That could be that I've chose the wrong configuration for the TX transmit. It could be the wrong configuration for the receive side. There's a sensor settings that I need to tweak now. And it's only because I was able to test it with reliable, consistent electrical measurements to verify that the sensor is not set up correctly. For more information, please go to www.rody-schwartz.com 